because of the increase in online course offerings and it was to provide that additional support to the online students. Um, they should have access to tutoring just like anyone that's on campus so we thought we needed some online tutoring and we have been offering it in certain courses. This um, is a outsourced company to provide tutoring for online students and we strictly, we did it as a pilot to um, uh, certain subjects. We can always add more subjects as time goes on. We bought a certain block of, of time and when that time is used up, that time is used up. We started it in 2011 with 744 students online out of our you know, total enrollment of 2560. It integrates with ANGEL. It's a tab in ANGEL, and there are a number of instructors that support it and think it's a wonderful tool. Others have some concerns about it, um, mainly because of the delayed time. Math is the only subject that there is a 24-7 live chat available. The other subjects have specified times that there is live chat. Otherwise, you go in and you submit your question and you have to wait for an answer. A lot of times when people are wanting tutoring or they have a question, they want it right now. So, um, again, I'll give you a little peek at what this looks like. We targeted um, biology, math, and nursing. Computers and I are not getting along very well this week. <laughs> so if you have an angel shell and you're one of the targeted courses, I left it in my skills. To this is what, you know, you have the tab there, the students can click on it, then they go into In the end, you find that the, the, the teachers who are using this, <coughs> excuse me, are actively advocating it, like, to their students? No, the nursing department is. Yeah. <laughs> um, math, I think, is, is feels more stronger, strongly about the Star New York because it's we have our own tutor for that. Um, but for the online math courses, this is something that's there for them, for the students if they want it, um, as well as the Star New York. Mm -hmm. But um, if you. Like the biology, it says live biology tutor. However, when you click on it, it will give you the hours. These are the hours that a live person is available. The other times, you just submit a question and the tutor will get back with you. It's showing right now that there's one on. <coughs> it's a whiteboard they go into and submit a question and then the tutor. And we are not charged for the time that we are only charged for the time when the tutor re-answers the question. So if a student has to go in and they have to wait, we're not charged for that time. Questions? How much does this cost? This, we bought a block of, um, for 28, the mini grant paid for $2,800, which is uh, 100 hours. It's $28 now. Mm -hmm. 
So far, we've only used one hour. One hour. We had um, some on their end, and we had a problem integrating it with Angel, so it didn't really get up and running until towards the end of last semester. So this semester, this is why the flyers went out this semester to let everybody know that it's up and running and it is available. And um, Sherry sent out a little blurb. If you don't want it, if you see it in your angel show and you don't want it, it's very easy to remove. <coughs> but we only targeted these specific subjects. If we see that we're not getting any usage, I will add some more subjects to see if that you know, makes it. And does it cover every bio class, like, you know, human bio, Yes. one, 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 Net Tutor is one of the thought, things that I thought that we could maybe join forces with the Hudson Valley Consortium. Yeah, um, because Duchess is using it, Sullivan is using it. Um, I don't know. Sullivan seems to be running kind of like us, that they're not getting as much usage as I anticipated. I haven't checked with Duchess to see what theirs, how they're doing with it. But I think they did it mainly for math and for writing. Whereas we did the Star New York for writing because um, the English department felt that to have our own tutor for the writing was better than sending it out to, because these people are in Florida. So the tutors are in Florida. So. Um, is there any type of integration when, say, Tracy gets an early alert on a student who used to be an online course and doing poorly? Is there any type of outreach that... You know, what happens is when anybody sends an early alert and it goes and it recommends tutoring that comes to me and I send out a blurb about you know that there is there are tutoring resources please call, contact me to find out what they are that's as much reach out as we've done it is um, these all have been posted the, the handout that I gave out they've been posted all over the campus like I said the instructors that have it in their courses. Like I said, the ones that favor it, they are promoting it. Others have concerns, they're not promoting it. So. It's also on the portal. It and it is, and, and Jane did put an announcement on the portal. <laughs> but Diane, uh, just so I understand the concerns with the fact that they've expressed the benefit of the response time, not the quality of the tutoring? Both. I've, I've heard both. Mainly the time that if they don't do it within when there's a live tutor, that it's taken longer than 24 hours, like they say that it's supposed to take. And what do you do with the quality concerns? I couldn't check with them to see what I, I just heard the quality concern. I don't know exactly what it was. I could check with them. Uh, they said they could do better on the quality if we could send them our syllabus and the book, the textbook, the specific textbook that we're using. If they have that, they might be able to improve the, the quality of the service. But I think the time, the mixture of the time and the delay, the instructors, the one that was concerned about it, just doesn't want to promote it at all. And, and I understand. So we'll have it, we could have it for a number of semesters until that total yes. 100 hours runs out. Right. There's no time limit that says... No, there's no off. time limit. This we have until we've used up the 100 hours, if it takes two semesters or a semester or you know, several semesters. That's why I'm thinking I would increase the number of courses hmm. um, that, that we're offering because we just started off with these. You know, the nursing has... Uh, those these calculations, that's the one we targeted that's strictly online. I'm just wondering how useful this would be if we switched gears and instead of offering it as a service for students, purposefully integrating it into the tutoring services of the Learning Center. And, and the reason that I'm thinking this way 
is because it would be a formalized and kind of standardized structure by which to tutor students that would allow you to track exactly what they've been doing in a way that's measurable across students. So instead of one tutor maybe using one approach and another tutor using another approach, with these kinds of guidelines, you can literally assess how much tutoring a student is needing to get to some certain part of a, uh, of a grade that they're after or a certain part of a course or content that they're after. You could track this with a service maybe like this, maybe more like, uh, like Modumath, something that, that's, that's structured and standardized and has access points that a tutor could guide a student through and then track their progress with. You can map that on then to their, their grades in the classroom or their scores on a test in the classroom or, or what have you and then really assess you know, is this, is this tutoring paradigm really benefiting the student or is it not? And, and you kind of at once be assessing the quality of something like Modumath as well as the quality of the tutor that's, that's uh, using Modumath or whatever the, whatever the facility is. It would make assessment really easy. He's <laughs> <laughs> trying to help us out with assessment. Okay, so, yeah, we can talk about that. Okay. To make it part of... Okay, we have, the, we have online and... Sort of. I mean, like, so right now we have, what, Key 101? Is that what teaches tutors no, to be key tutors? Key 195. Key 195, right, teaches tutors to be tutors. Right, I'm wondering if Key 195 could be expanded into, instead of just being a seminar, an additional tutorial by, by which we instruct the tutors on how to use certain tools, and those tools have embedded with them the ability to map student progress. So... It, it appears that Modumath has that uh, ability. We can map exactly what student access, how they do in it, what their score on a particular exam is, la, 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 la. If we instruct our tutors to use these particular strategies, these particular guides, then we know that all the students are being presented with the same material in more or less the same way, and we can track how that material is actually improving their performance in the classroom. And it would be sort of a one-to-one -one relationship. We could follow a student literally from one module of, of something like module, module math to the, the next test that they take to see if there's an impact. Just the yeah. Yeah. So. we got to go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I to do it in 30 minutes. So I really right, want to okay. thank you. And, we can uh, talk about that.